this is a scrumptious main for your party today. It's chorizo and potato frittata, really, really easy. What you'll need is a heat resistant handle pan and non-stick surface, so we'll put that over the top of some heat. So we'll grab some chorizo. Now I've got four chorizo sausages here. Just pop that into our pan. And I'm going to fry those off for around about four minutes or until golden. Chorizo is great for these frittatas. It just has such an immense flavour. Now that's cooking nicely away, ladies, what you can do to maximise your time, because you need your time, you've got to frock up soon, is to grab 800 grams of Desiree potatoes. So peel those and parboil them or microwave them for around about 10 minutes so that they're a little bit soft. Because they're the next ingredient we need to get into this frittata. Right, that is perfect. Now what we're going to do is we're going to use the natural juices of those chorizo sausages and leave it in there because what we're going to do is fry off our potato in those natural juices. So I'm just going to extract the chorizo, pop it back into our bowl to let it sit for a tick. Okay, so we've still got some natural juices there which is great. Add our potato to those. And all you'll want to do is cook this for around about eight minutes and then that's done too. So we'll leave these to cook for a little while while we go and do our eggs. Okay, so what you'll need is seven eggs. Great, we'll just give that a little beat with a fork or a whisk, whatever you've got on hand. And lastly, the fourth ingredient is our star ingredient, Gourmet Garden Parsley. You'll need two tablespoons of this. Nothing like the aroma of fresh herbs and spices is there. Beautiful. Fabulous. So we'll just add this mixture to our chorizo and potato. So the outside of those potatoes has got a lovely, light, crispy texture. Now that that's done, we'll simply add our chorizo. Now spread it around a little bit so it's nice and even because what we're going to do now is to add our egg and parsley mixture. So we'll just simply pour that in over the top. Okay, we'll turn our heat way down, let it simmer for around about 10 minutes and then all we need to do is to take this from the stove top into the grill and leave it there for around about 5 minutes and you're done and dusted. Now how's our frittata going? Oh wow, look at that. So we'll just let that sit to the side. 